A Catholic priest says his church was shut down right under his nose all while he was meeting with Edward Cardinal Egan. And as Allison Caden tells us now, parishioners at the Lith Lithuanian Church in Lower Manhattan simply cannot believe this. We don't know where to go. So they wait out front, hoping for a miracle. Longtime parishioners of Our Lady of Vilnius are disgusted with the New York Archdiocese. If it's really necessary to shut it down, that's understandable. But the way they treated the people and the pastor is a disgrace. Father Eugene Sawicki, seen here with Pope John Paul II in the 1980s, met with Cardinal Edward Egan yesterday morning. When he met the Cardinal, the Cardinal told him that the church was being locked, the church was being closed. When Sawicki returned, he was locked out. This Broom Street Church is more than 100 years old. It was founded to serve Lithuanian Catholics living in the neighborhood. While the Lithuanians have long since moved out, many return for Mass. This amateur video is from a vigil they held last night. Ramate Zukas represents Lithuanian American Community Incorporated. She says Lithuania's Consul General delivered a letter to Egan from Lithuania's president, pleading to keep the church open. It did nothing. He was disappointed because when he arrived, he was told that the church was already bolted closed. In a statement from the Archdiocese, a spokesman points out there have been virtually no weddings or funerals in the church for years. Parishioners meet in a lower hall because the roof started to crumble several years ago. The Archdiocese never fixed it. Our Lady of Vilnius is the only Lithuanian church in Manhattan. The Archdiocese is now directing people to the Lithuanian parishes in Brooklyn and Newark. In Lower Manhattan, Allison Caden for the CW11 News at 10.